What's up, y'all? In this video, we are gonna see something that I've been wanting to see because whenever I go get called out to put these in, people just want it like it is, right? But I've always been curious if the Schlage Connect, this is a pricey little push button lock and, and it's, you know, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi enabled, built-in alarm, blah, 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 blah. It's got a key cylinder in it. Some of these Schlage, like the old school 375s, you know, with the tactile buttons or the, the pushy buttons on it, instead of the screen buttons, uh, you can't switch the cylinders out just because of how they're designed. And especially now, Schlage has made a special little cam mechanism on the inside. Long story short, those you cannot switch out the cylinder. But I've been curious about this one because this is just basically a standard deadbolt with a fancy electronic package in it. And the cylinder, if I recall, when I looked at the last one I put in, they uns the cylinder could unscrew. Now the problem with this is, and always has been, is key and knob cylinders like this, for instance, LSDA, LA keyway, five pin, but it's a six pin cylinder. So the problem with that has always been the length of the cylinder. Whenever you're trying to switch out something uh, in a from a commercial setting, like a Sargent or, or any other keyway, Yale, whatever the case is, the problem has always been that most of these residential locks like this have only really five pin dependency. Like it, the cylinder itself can't be longer than five pin. And again, the, the people that I put these in for, uh, they're really nice locks, by the way. This is a great electronic lock. It's a little bit pricey, but if you want all the Wi-Fi and Z-Wave and connectivity and blah, 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 uh, this is your bet. I like it. I like the lock. Yales are good too, but this one's a pretty decent one. But again, I've never had a chance to try to switch the cylinder. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Or I guess I should say, that's what we're going to try to do in this video. All right, so the Schlage Connect, again, it's uh, Z-Wave Plus. It's two security smart home ready, can connect with your alarm system. It has a built-in alarm. Uh, if somebody like hits the lock or rattles your door, an alarm will go off. Uh, everything is in the box ready to go so let us uh take a look here and see what we have this is the aged bronze so we have uh be 469 zp and retail packaging there and come on out i guess the first thing we need to do is just pull out that outer thing and see about being able to switch the cylinder number one yep like i said it's a deadbolt hey look it's still shielded uh so one good thing about these in addition to everything else i just said uh is is if you've seen uh if you've seen my video i'll post a link up here in the corner in regular deadbolts schlage did away with this shield however in this one it's still here uh and it does have this this fancy uh, cam or this tail piece right here, it's got this notch in it. On these, it does have to have that because if you look at the latch, it's got these funny little cutouts. It's, it's, it's almost a standard deadbolt latch, except it's got this funny hub right here. And what happens is it can only go in one way, I believe. If I recall, yep, on, on, you know, on some deadbolts, the old trick was always throw the deadbolt out. But on this one, it specifically says, do not do that. So let's take a look at this. We don't really need the inside yet because really we're just focused on this outside part. So we'll just go ahead, unscrew the cylinder and see what becomes of this. I am curious if this will work. I have seen other, oh, okay, so there's our cylinder again. Five pin, not a six pin. In this case, 
the rotation has to be correct. That's the biggest thing whenever you're trying to switch out. You know, when you're trying to do stuff you're not supposed to be doing, doing stuff that the manufacturer doesn't want you doing, uh, you kind of have to hope everything works right. So it looks like our pin is in the exact same place. So if I get a pair of tweezers, do I have a pair up here? I do not. Let me grab one. Oh, first thing we need to do before we try this is check the face. The sergeant taught us that. Let's check the face of the key cylinder to make sure because it may be too big. That looks like it. It's just the right size. Oh, 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 let's see. Let's see, we may be on to something here, y'all. So in this case, we're going to take this off and keep that. So we'll put this here, take, unscrew this. Nope. this in here and this in here and put it back on that should be good I think it's gonna work y'all the only thing that we need to watch out for you know the only problem it's probably gonna work on an inch and three-quarter door but I'm gonna take a wild guess it may not work on an inch and three-eighths door so if you're putting this on a thin door why are you not screwing in screw in you might have problems with it we're using a mount over here that's engine three quarter which is your standard exterior door thickness we do have people that want to put these in on like closets and stuff like that believe it or not so that's one of those things where uh you know it may not work for the thin door but let's see so we put this in the screw is long enough to reach over there and grab the cylinder. We may be on to it. This may answer the question, y'all, that everybody wants to know. It's biting. It's got plenty of bite. Cylinder is a little loose there, so we need to screw it down some more. Come on. Oh, there we go. And uh, yeah, I think if we put this in, let's get this out of the way. I think if we put this in, it's gonna work, y'all. Yeah? Sure seems like it will. So this would be fed underneath. Boom, boom. Oh. Look at that. Uh, we got plenty of room. It's not hitting. So we're going to look in there and see. Not hitting at all. And it extends. So that answers the question. If you want to get a lock and key it to something other than Schlage, so you could use any keyway. Yale, Sergeant, Corbin, uh, high security keys, if you wanted to put this, put a put an OSA cylinder in here, as long as you use the Schlage style OSA cylinder, it should work. I mean, from what I'm seeing, we're good to go. I'm not going to hook the rest of it up because it's going to go on somebody's house. And when you put the batteries in, it does this handing thing. And I don't, want, I don't want to try to figure out how to redo the handing thing. But there we go. Hmm, interesting. Now we know. I, you know, I know somebody's going to ask me about this. So I'm just going to go ahead and clarify it now. Because, yes... Because the cylinder is longer, this 
sticks out longer. So somebody might be wondering if it is gonna bottom out and not cause this to, to function properly, but watch, see it goes, the wire's in the way, but yes, it goes, goes over that just fine. And again, it'll tighten down if you, if you move the wire. And uh, again, we, we can't really throw it out right now because it has to have the batteries put in for it to, you know, activate and, and do its thing. But for those of you who are wondering if it would stick out too far right there, no, indeed, it's got, it's got plenty of room. It doesn't stick out too much further. So anyway, just wanted to clarify that. Also, the nice thing about this is they do send the high security strike package, that's right, with the backer plate and the three inch screws. Always put those in. Anyway, just wanted to update you on that just to verify that it would work. So anyway, that uh, that answers the question. I'm fairly certain it'll work just fine because it's an independent thing. If the key works fine and it's not hitting the inside of the latch, then I don't see it being a real problem with the electronics uh, working it. So you, uh, one of the things that you could do, you're like, I mean, what about the silver face? This will answer that problem. Yes, the old, the old cheap trick to make chrome uh, dark bronze. It may not last long, but you know that's not that's not too bad, really. You know, let's look at it without the key in it. You know, that's not that's a bright spot. You could you could mute it down with a sharpie. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. Most time, people don't use the key on it anyway. So if you sharpened it, it'd probably be. Uh, just fine. So there we go. That answers the question. In case you were wondering which electronic lock that you can use with different keyways, with different key and knob cylinders, even high security, that encourages me to actually put one of those on our house because we use OSA locks. And uh, I've always not wanted to put an electronic lock on the house because of that, because we don't use Schlage keys or quick set. Of course, we're not going to be using that anyway. So there we go. The Schlage Connect can accept standard key and knob cylinders should work fine. No problem. If you've had any issues trying it, then let me know in the comments section. But otherwise, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section. We'll catch y'all next video.